All right. Hey there, and welcome to another TMK broadcast. This is your host, The Buckethead, and I am having a super cool contest. Uh, you must be a Patreon or participate, but that's super easy to do and super inexpensive. But, it, you know, if you still can't do it, don't worry. You know, it's okay. No pressure. Anyways, my contest is a, I guess it's kind of an art contest, I suppose. And today I'm going to be using GIMP to be re retexture, re doing a, or retexturizing a model in Tabletop Simulator for the X-Wing Miniatures game. Uh, so this isn't exactly for the X-Wing Miniatures game. This is for like the shuttle for like the Heroes of the Aturi Cluster expansion, you know, fan-made expansion. Um, or I guess maybe not even that, for like 1.0, X-Wing 1.0. Remember the days of 1.0? Got some member berries. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing a reskin. But what you have to do is you guys, if you guys want to participate in this contest, first, got to be a patron. Super easy. Don't worry about that. Next, next second. Um, second, you have to have an Instagram. And thirdly, you have to upload the skin to Instagram. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like. But I'm, I'm prizing out one of these gauntlet fighters. Yes, the $60 ship is getting prized out and mailed to you for free if you win. So let's go and I'll show you how to participate in that. There we go. If you guys have any questions, make sure you pop in chat. So you go to my Patreon page and this is, yeah, this is it. Uh, let's see here. Can I go to, oh, public page. Here we go. There we go. Okay. I don't mind any other stuff, but $1 member is what you need to be, the $1 per month, and that will allow you to participate in all of my contests, all of them. If you're not interested in any of the additional stuff, then don't worry about the rest. But there are four levels. Even a six dollar level will, after a year of this, will get you a mug. I've already had a couple of those out. These are these are fantastic mugs. I'll show you, just in case. I have these mugs right here. We'll have your name right here in auto refresh and the year on it. But the year won't. The year will be updated. Some more numbers that you can read easier, anyways. And mm, hold your coffee, your hot chocolate, or tea. Just great. There you go. So. Just plug in that because it's there. But anyways, cheers. Um, all you have to do is find the post here. Uh, so I post like battle reports and stuff. But here's the Gauntlet Fighter post. And if you go to that, this is public. You don't have to be a patron to see it. Um, it'll have all the instructions here on how to post your picture. And the kind of picture I want you to post is the skin. Don't take a screenshot of your model. Post the skin because I'm going to screenshot your skin and I'm going to upload it in tabletop simulator so I can look around it but anyways I want your skin and you can put either like your your patreon name here or put your patreon name tagged in the post and that's how you want to submit it and this one I used I made this I made this one in my in Microsoft paint so I don't care if you're using GIMP Microsoft paint hey I don't care if you like hand draw it and then scan it in which I plan on doing next week I'm going to hand draw I'm going to print out one and then I'm going to hand draw it all we can scan it in to show you what that looked like. Because uh, I'm curious. I'm like, I'm going to hand draw a, a tabletop simulator you know, texture and see how that comes out. It seems like it's going to be a pretty cool idea, but we'll see. I can't wait to see how that looks like. But I mean, the Microsoft Paint one came out really good. I'm going to go ahead and show you the Microsoft Paint one that I did. I did here, here, I loaded that to the first order fighter here. I mean... At first glance, like it's kind of fun, you know. I mean, my lift height's too high. Whoop! All right, it's like it's really fun. Like it doesn't look too bad from far away. I like it. I think it's fun. I think it's fun. Let me know if I'm too loud, by the way. I see a little meter go up to the red. I'm like, ah, oh, was that too loud? Okay, but yeah, and like you can tell, it's like totally Microsoft Paint. Like, whatever, it's fine. Uh, but I'm have uh, so in my Commanders League next week. Um, we need shuttles that move. And normally, uh, I guess when they came out with the Epic uh, Epic Objective tokens, they use these things. I'm like, you know, it's pretty, it's close enough in size to a small base that I wouldn't worry about it. I'll just use a small base. And we'll just, I'm telling the rest of the guys in our group, just use a small base. It's all the same. It's all the same. Why not? Just use a small base. It's close enough. Um, so I'm going to read to redo this, but I'm going to save this one also. Oh, so... There was no small, I had to make a small shuttle in Blender, but so I made this in Blender. I just took the, the Chef the Peach shuttle, right? You can see down there. And I, I took the model from, from the big one and scaled it down and slapped it on top. 
and that way I could use the big image because the big image has the most resolution, most detail. So uh, when re when rescanning this one, so that's what I did. That's what I did. We're gonna go ahead and hop into GIMP now and get this texturizing done. And along the way, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. Hey, twenty five by five. So um, twenty five by five. If you want to take this model for your game, uh, for your game this week, you can just hop in here. The server is the same as uh, the last time we played. So you can look up your password. You just hop in here, copy the model, and then you could use it. Okay, so. I know Talos is going to come in here too, but I'm going to go, I'm going to be reskinning this one today. If you want to know how to reskin this one, you can stay tuned and watch or whatever, and maybe get part of that contest. Or well, you're in Australia, so yeah, the contest is for U.S. and uh, Canada. Sorry, shipping's expensive. All right, so let's go ahead and find the picture or open desktop. What did I save it as? I saved it as something. Ah, small shuttle. Boop. There we go. Now, see, I have Ross texture here, but I'm going to replace it with the Cinder shuttle texture. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that right now. And it's not quite sized right, so I'll have to figure out how to size it right, too. So, so first things first, let's get the right base on there. Hmm? First things first, right, guys? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Do, do, do. All right. All right. This thing's like way too big. Mm hmm. How are we going to do this? Layer. No, we don't want to scale layer. Select. Uh, maybe it's a scale layer? You know, let's go ahead and scale layer. That, that seems like it's way too big, but <laughs> I think we're doing the wrong thing. Oh, it's the right one. Okay. All right, we're gonna scale that back up. Let's get back here by a few pixels here. All right, this is good, but scale layer is correct. All right, and their links, we don't like skew it any. Let's do 540 and see where that's at, scale. Well, that's way too small, okay. We can go much bigger, uh, layer, scale layer. Let's just do 600. Oh, that's so close. It needs to be exact fit left to right here. So let's, uh, it's like it's like maybe 10 pixels too big. So let's see here. Scale layer. We're close. Let's go to number five. I think that's I think that's pretty darn close. I'm pretty happy with that. Now because it's just not oh I just don't have any hash marks in the front. Okay, it's just not long enough. We're gonna kind of copy the image here, just like little slivers of it. So we're gonna zoom in further, make it longer. That's good. That looks kind of like it repeated a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and rotate this image. Layer, rotate. Let's see here. Transform, rotate 180. That removes like any kind of, you know, 
duplication looking here that goes on. And then same for the bottom. Layer, transform, rotate 180, and we're gonna go ahead and move it down. Yeah, that's right, okay, we'll move it down. To cover our bases. There, our base, oops, that was like a little off to the side, wasn't it? Let's bring it over a little bit. That looks, oh, but that's like skewy there, okay. We didn't do a good copy here, that's what happened. Let me see here. Oh, we did a good copy. Okay, no, we, we, can, we can do better. We can do better. Let's, uh, all right. Let's bring that in a smidge. Okay, now let's try this. All right. Transform, 180. Well, it's just not even. Hmm. The top worked out great. I don't know what I'm doing wrong on the bottom here. Can we stretch? Nah, one more bother. We won't worry about uh, the 180 flip on this one. Let's just call it good. Okay, that's good. I like that. We'll just call it good. So now we have the center shuttle will be the appropriate size, you know, image on the bottom there. And you know, what? let's just go ahead and test it out. Select all. Uh, copy. We're going to put it in Publisher. Publisher is the easiest way to test it out. P-U-B. Oops, that's B. Pub. There you go. This will be off screen, so you don't worry about that. More blank pages. The big page. Oops. Back. There we go. The best picture. We're going to go desktop picture one save all right let's see how that turned out our new base custom desktop picture one open cloud let's do what it's saying All right, import. Now we're not gonna do all of them match. Look at that base. All right, that base looks pretty cool. Looks legit, I like it. Nice. And from far away, you can't tell there's like a copied layer here. Like you really can't tell. You know, looks pretty good. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. But it's not as dark as this one for some reason. Maybe it's because there's a material issue here. Let's see here. Material. This is wood. And let's uh, custom material. It's wood. Hmm. Did I do that right? Yeah. Cardboard. Just sounds different. Huh, it's glass. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'll stop playing. Plastic's kind of shiny. We don't move back to wood again. Wood. There we go. Sweet. Well, that looks pretty good. You can see, I'm going to keep this one here as the original so you can see, actually, we'll just in case someone comes in. I use the Chef to Pete Fin Round, so it actually has the Fin Round template and stuff. We'll use this as, as the first one as a comparison where we come. Or you know, I, you know, maybe each edition we'll just do a new new model. <laughs> oh, you can see the whole process uh, on, a, on a model every time we take a stop to take a look here. 
Okay. Um, let's go and customize this further. All right, so that's exactly what we wanted to do. So you know what? I'm going to get rid of this. Wait, I just had an idea. Let's see here. Select by color. Hmm. Not exactly what I wanted to do here. Try this again. That's fine. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Uh, let's see here. Minus. Good. Okay. What if I can get like, the peg to be clear? Then we will also include this and then delete, select all. Picture two. Okay. Oh, wait. I just realized the base will be clear too. That's not going to be any good. So I need to open up Blender here real quick and see where that where the base gets its color. And you know what? I'm going to show you what that looks like too, because why not? Blender is also a free app you guys can use to manipulate these models and check stuff out. All right. Import. Import. We find we want to do small shuttle, so we're importing here. No, nope, I don't think it worked. Try it again. Import object. Oh, that's MTL, that's why. I want to go to desktop. Object import. There we go. Now we will do texture paint. We're actually maybe we don't want to do that. Let's see here. No. Maybe it was this, maybe it was this way. We gotta add an image. All right, that's what we gotta do. Picture one. Or picture two, I get picture one. Yeah, I'll open up picture one. All right. Now we need our pointer here, our selector here. Object mode. That's not what I did before. How did I do this before? Go. Is this it? No, this is not it. No. I had it earlier, so I got this thing to work. Can't figure out how I did that before. Let's just back up what we did. Back up, back it up, back it up. Let's get rid of this. Oh, we can't get rid of that. Ah. I'm not familiar 100% with Blender. All right, let's close it up again. Don't save. I'll try it again. Let's try it again. As you can see, I'm a total novice with Blender. So the, the fact that I got this thing to work the first time was amazing. Amazing. Okay. Object from desktop. Okay. So, what is this? Texture properties, new. Uh, texture.
open. There we go. Not sure why it did that. Okay. All right. I forgot how to do this. Sorry, I gotta get back to work. All right, get back to work. I forgot how to do this though. If we were here, we were. Do, 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 do. Oh, view as render. Okay. Nope. Not doing it. All right. We'll have to just take the, the guessing route. Just take the guess route. I'm not a pro blender whatsoever, so we're going to go ahead and get, go back out of this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to... Well, I do want to delete this. We know this is not part of it. So let's just... Let's just go here. Okay. And then we'll use this to... Well... We'll just keep that in there. And see if we can get rid of the uh, the peg. And keep everything else. All right. We're going for an invisible peg here. Oh gosh, I did that backwards. Okay. That's what we want. All right. So if you're a total novice, you can do this too. All right. And then we're going to section out this area as a keeper. Okay. Let's see here, select all. I think it'd be cool to have like an invisible peg, so that's what I want to do. Picture three. Open. We'll just do local because it loads faster. Okay. So we got rid of the peg and everything else. But I mean, that's cool because it floats. Yay. Okay. So let's go back into here. And we'll control Z a couple times to. Oops. Control Z, control Z. Get our color back. Okay. So now we're going to give it some some area here. Let's let's take this out and see what we got. Cause I don't want to. I couldn't find it. I did it the other day. I just did it in, in Blender a little bit ago. Forgot how to do that. I'm gonna try again. Cause this is gonna take forever I'm trying to guess. All right. I should have done this before. It's like I didn't have the idea. I didn't have the idea until now, though. So I'm sorry. <laughs> what just happened? I'm gonna sit down. Okay. Uh, if we import a picture, maybe. No.
Hmm. What is UV editing? See, I thought I was in texture paint before. Image, open, uh, desktop, picture one, open. Oh. No, view. What did we do? What did I do before? Does everybody know how to use <laughs> this the program? <laughs> okay. Animation rendering, compositing, geometry nodes, scripting, render image. Okay. No, we want to do, but that's kind of cool. I thought I did it before. In here. I do the whole image selected. Let's see here, what is this one? World properties? No. Maybe it's this. I swear it was here before. That's a brush, brush for the mask. Let's see, you might be able to select the, the peg portion of the model and delete it. It works on some of them. You know what? The peg portion is actually the whole thing. I can't just delete the peg portion. It's, it's one object. So, I tried. I tried. Let's see here. I know how to do this. Base color. Ah. Texture. This is where it is. Image texture. Is it? Where is it? Ah, okay, okay. We're going to open an image texture, desktop. There we go. Open. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Ta da! Okay. Then we need to get our pointer back. So this needs to be in edit mode? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. And I need to highlight the object. Uh, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I found it, but I don't like what I found. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, I got to stop that. Okay. Or uh, actually... No, it's not letting me have that 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 object there. Let's see, object mode. I want just that. It's not giving me the uh, just like the pegs here. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Uh oh, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, come on. It's like going super fast. But where is it? I have it. I had it. It's not showing up on this thing, though, for some silly reason.
You know, we'll, we'll just select everything again. Oh, nothing is showing up. Uh, must be this circle here. Oh. Let me see if we can... We should be able to grab these and move these. Image editor. No. Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere. Okay, it's this part right here. So we get select mode here. There we go. Ah, select. Then I want to move it. There we go. Now let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope. 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 <laughs> ah. You see, it should be texture node editor, but I don't see it here. Uh, UV editors that. All right, so I guess I have to save the model now, right? Because uh, this one was built a long time ago, too. But I want to see what it looks like if I got it in the right spot. Moved it far enough down. Oh, you know what I could do? I could just put it in the corner. There we go. And I can select everything here. So I should probably be able to save this object now and I should be okay. So we're gonna go back into object mode. We're gonna go file, export object. Export. Export object. We're just gonna replace, actually, you know what? Mm. We're gonna say V1. Or V2, I guess. Shuttle. How do I want to do this? Underscore V2. Okay. Export object. Now. Now we're going to be getting somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to go. We're going to copy this. Okay. Custom. Model mesh. Shuttle, small shuttle V2, open, uh, cloud, upload, import, not update anything. Now we're going to go to this, and we know what we need now. So we can keep all this color here. I move that circle down to the bottom, and we can delete everything here. There we go. Uh, let's see here. It's gonna be picture four. Let's see if we got a floating shuttle now. Yeah, cross your fingers, guys. What? Did it not move it? Did it not move the image? Okay, let's start it over again. <laughs> All right, 
we got the texture to load, but then we did do it right. So this is good too. If you guys want to make custom models without bases or without pegs on your model, this is good to know. Okay, so I'm just doing the process for you. We're gonna troubleshoot this. And this is the most up. This is the most recent version, by the way. So yeah, we're gonna do the small shuttle V2. Oh, the M2 must be like how it's like done on there, I guess. I don't know. Huh. No, we don't have that MTL file. Maybe we just can't do it on this one. So where were we? We're here. No, we weren't there. Are we here? Meh. All right. We're not gonna have a we're not gonna have a, a clear model on ours, so that's a bummer. Okay. We won't worry about that. We're just gonna worry about the, the version one here. So uh, let's see here. We'll go back and we're gonna say this is this is un, we're not gonna bother. We're just gonna recolor the ship. Forget about the rest. All right. Let's go work on recoloring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this, just like so. There we go. Oops, I clicked away. Should've done that, should've done that. All right. Let's just get to the painting, guys. All right. Perfect. Now we're gonna try and select the color uh, within and so I don't know if you can actually see that on your screen. It's it's right up here. You can't see it. Okay, this right here is called intersect select. That's what we're gonna use because we don't want to select any of the colors outside of our selected area. So intersect select. We're gonna get all this red and let's like see here. I don't want the white. Why is it getting the white? Oh, it's just getting the black. Okay, that's fine. We colored a grayscale. It'll be fine. There we go. Oh, I did get the white up here. The white and the grays. Interesting. Mm, actually, you know what? Forget about that. Just cut the whole thing. That's what I'm gonna do. I just I changed my mind. In my mind. <laughs> We're going to desaturate. Everything to a gray, a nice gray. Everything's gonna go to the gray scale. Values pretty light, average. Mm. Kind of want lighter, better. So we'll go to value. Oh, value's pretty good. Okay. This is gonna keep all of our shadows and stuff in place. Um, now let's go ahead and back to colors again. We're going to. Like just change some of the contrast here. Expose your shadow highlights. Brightness and contrast, yeah. So we're trying to get all this like one color palette. So the white's a little bit darker and the darker's a little bit lighter. So less contrast. Mm. Yeah, it's not working so well. All right, it's not doing what I want. So I'm gonna put the color back on it. I'm gonna try doing more contrast with the color. Key. Come on, undo, 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 undo. There we go. We're gonna try changing the contrast now, so that maybe I can get more of just the reds. So let's see, brightness, contrast. We're gonna increase the contrast. Hmm. We'll do it to 50, and then we'll do color select. Intersect select. Still getting some weird stuff on there. Go 
all the rest, not the whole thing, but back it up. I guess that's fine. All right. Colorize. No. Let's see here. Colors. Desaturate. Value. Hmm. No. Nope. Like my other way better. We'll just keep the whites white, I guess. So. All right. I can't make up my mind. That's just, that's part of the process, you know? Value. Okay. So we want to color some things white. There's like a T section here, this section up here. Let's see what they're out in the model here. Where is that T section? I don't see that T anywhere. Is it underneath? Well, I'm not looking at the model high enough now. Zoop. It's underneath. Okay. And the three white bars are underneath too. I'm going to go for like uh, the sides are blue. The top is like, let's start off this, this part here. The top is all white. Um, continue me back here. I'm going to try that. And kind of make it look like my, my, my other other fighters. So like, you know, my other stuff. All right. So those are the engine wraps. Okay. This is underside. Fine. Okay. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. My free select here. Nope. Oh. Ow. Oh. Edit. Redo. There we go. Oh, redo. What happened? Okay, well, I messed it up. Nothing new there. Desaturated again. So I'm a dork. There we go. Take out the colors. Just give me black and white image here. All right. Now let's get to work. That's a nice straight line. Let's see how this colorizes now. I'm colorizing to white, which is kind of interesting, but nope, too much colorized to white. Oh, you know what? Instead of colorizing it, why don't I just go and lighten it up? That's what we'll do. We'll do the intersect select again. We're going to take out all the black lines here. That looks good. Then we're going to take out all the white ones. We'll just use our rectangle select to get rid of the white ones. And we'll also like colorize like not so intense too to get, that'll get rid of everything. We want some of the panelings to still show up, so we'll adjust the opacity on our colorize. There we go. Uh, ta -da, ta -da. All right, what's going on here? This is weird. Ellipses select. Oops, that's not right. I want to include that in again. Uh, let's go ahead and bring that back in. Welcome. Put you back in there. 
we're going to go back to the rectangle select and then we'll get rid of you. Okay. Everyone's having a good day today, by the way. A lot of fun over here. All right. Okay. Oh, I did I did the wrong click, I think. Yeah, I did the wrong click. Did. Hold on, control key to subtract. What are you doing? What is this? Okay. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So this is kind of trapezoidal here. And we want to include these little blemishes. We want them to be colorized. Just make sure we get our selection perfect. This takes, a, this takes a little bit. You're watching live, so there's no fast forward here. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's go about this a little bit differently here. Let's take this one out. We're going to use a select. A little bit further out here. There we go. Should we go on the lines like that? That'll be good. Because for some reason it's not like taking out the uh, the insides as well. Just the outsides are like subtracted on this one. You know what? I know that. On all of them, all of them are pretty not really selected the way they're supposed to be. So we're going to do this all by me, all by hand. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get out of that. We're going to just go by hand and get all the little panel details that we want to keep in there and we'll keep them as gray because they're kind of dark already oops i'm using the wrong one need to be the including one include include be includes did be includes did there we go like from far away it looked like it included the proper like lines but Totes didn't. Totes didn't. Can't trust the system. Just gotta do it by hand. I want all of those to be included in the colorizing. Okay. Well, let's go mark our panels safe. Oops. <sighs> Wrong button. That white panel touched up. Okay. Now, if you like go with the lasso tool and you just click here and you hold the control key it'll do like different angles and it'll make sure you give you a straight line so even if I'm off a little bit it'll pull that line straight for me so that's nice that's a little too far out let's bring it back in a tad that's good. Control key is pretty awesome. Yeah, we want it there. Okay. So we're not going to color those lines. Good.
Sometimes it's a little work to get this done the way you want it, but totally worth it in the end. Especially if you are getting a gauntlet from it, so that's fun. <laughs> Take that out there. That line kind of like goes at an angle, doesn't it? I realized that before. Oops. All right. Let's just doop, 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 doop. Hey, oh, subtract. What? It's not doing what I want it to do. Subtract. That's better. Okay. Ah, the lines. Freehand there. All right. Okay. Oh, I guess not almost. I got this whole this whole section up here to do. All right. It goes to here. And then I'm just kind of freehanding this. Uh, it's a little messy, but it's okay. I think it'll come out fine. Just kind of get it in that blended area there. It's gonna feather it a little bit anyways, but this will be good. Come out good. My little free hand there. All right. Starts to curve early, earlier than I would like to. That's okay. Oh, that one's gonna be messy. Whatever. <laughs> Not that important, I suppose. You can always fix it if you don't like it. Like, you can always just control Z to get it fixed. All right, that is one pixel out there. So we'll just go here, and then should be good straight down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Cool. Not much to go, just straight lines. Now we can use our box one for this. Because this is boop. Get it where we want it. Bring it in a little bit. All right, then we're gonna go, nope, include this part though. And then we're gonna say, don't include this part. And don't include this part. All right, that's done. There we go, don't include that. Don't include this. Don't include this. A little bit wider there. Don't include this. All right. Mm. We're going to freehand some of this to include some of this spotting here. Probably should these by hand to begin with, but that's okay. Okay. Colors, colorize. Not that white. Let's see here. There's got to be a way to adjust the opacity here. Maybe here. Ah, here it is. Okay. Hmm. Normal. So it's, it's on replace mode. Let's see here. Dissolve. Dissolve's not good. We don't want dissolve. Behind. No, we don't want behind. Uh, let's see here. Color erase, erase, merge. Merge isn't exactly what we want either here. There's a way to do this. Lighten only. Nope. Addition. Maybe. Uh, let's see here. Color erase. Oh, that's funny. We're erasing all the white out of it. No, we're not color erasing. Bad right, dissolve normal. Light and only dodge. Addition. Addition. I was like, how much white are we adding? I see. Or, you know, let's go back to replace mode here. And let's, maybe the saturation level goes down. Nope. Lightness. Whoa, that's interesting. Okay. No. Saturation. I think has to, we want opacity here, but... Color something to white isn't exactly easy. Hmm. Maybe you like a kind of like a steel blue here? No, 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 no. It's gotta be the white. We'll get this to work here. That one. What if we just do, maybe just lighten. Instead of colorizing. Brightness. And then contrast. Yep, that's it. I think that's what I want. Brightness 125, contrast 41. Okay, so that's gonna be that section. We know what we, how I wanna do this. Um, and then let's go back. So that is, let's see here, let's take a look at this. So that will, that line's there, that line's there. Trying to see the model here. 
because there's like a blend here that somewhere happens. Oh, I think I see, I see a line right here, okay. It's hard to see, but there's this little line that goes right here and right here. That's what we're hitting. And we got these lines coming in, okay? So, ah, uh, interesting. Okay, so this is the line right here, which I just dove down way too early into that. <laughs> yep, okay. We just need to straighten out, oh, well, hmm. Uh, this, this is here. You know, let's just see how it looks. We always just color it white. Redo, no. All right, so colors. Or edit, yeah. Can't redo anything, okay. So we're going to brightness contrast here. Yeah. 140, no wait, we said, we didn't say 140, probably like 100. 100, and then, I uh, forgot what numbers I said. <laughs> Let's just do 80, 80 and 40. 80 and 40 look good, okay. Select all. Instead of doing the whole export process, there we go. Save as picture, picture five. All right. Hey, no, give me that. Picture five. Open local. Hey, Talanos. Uh, Talanos, you want you want this one. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 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 So it does capture this bit right here on both sides. It must be like a mirrored thing. I like how our panels, like our lines still showed up pretty nicely on here. Like it still showed up pretty good. So that's good. And they're like the same color too. So the colorizing is working. We're just going to follow this little red line back. And we're going to try and trim this back a little bit. Because of the straight line, it will seem like it would go to this mark right here and then pull straight back. So we somehow kept that straight. Okay. So we did the select all, we're going to control back and back out of the colorization. And we're going to do the, this select here. So you don't really, you can't really see where that color blends into the top here, which kind of annoys me. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Let's see here. Let's go back to this guy. Let's go straight up top down view. All right. It needs to, it definitely needs to come in a little bit, but how much? How much? Because those colors aren't quite matchy, matchy. Matchy, matchy. We have like a guide here. Like just outside that line of the L shape there. Just outside it. Come to me. There we go. All right. So I see where we can bring it in here. Cause it was like, oh, that's perfect, like, like right there. Okay, perfect, okay. We'll do the same on this side. And we'll go just outside that line. There we go. 
So we're just outside those L lines and nice and straight. And then we're going to come down here and let's see here. That line comes straight to there. The L line. But it duplicates it on the other side. All right, we're gonna give it a shot and see what it looks like. We're gonna do both the same. Okay, so let's do our lasso select. This this shape is like curved, so it's gonna bring it in, I suppose. So we'll just follow the same line here, just like that. We're, we're, we're just going to exclude our panel lines right from the beginning here. That way we don't got to worry about them. Uh, I didn't do the also include other selections. Here, here we go. Do, 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 do. Did like that line anyways. Okay. Now that's already kind of white, so we'll just do this right here. Oops. Include select. A little grayer but it blends okay so with that said i don't need you know i'm not gonna worry about too much of the bottom colors but I'll, this is fine okay so we did like 80 and 40. so okay select all we're gonna put it in here. Picture six. My desktop's gonna be so full of pictures. <laughs> Picture six. Open. Uh, let's see here. Local. Import. Did we line it up just right? I tell you what, we lined it up pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Which one is this one? This one was. Uh... Yeah, we just went in the cloud. Okay, this one's a cloud image, so you can save that one. All right. That part's white, which is what I want. Then we're gonna paint uh, the sides and the rest blue, 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 blue. Okay. Because I want the rest blue. So we're gonna go back out to become our selection here. We're going to invert selection because that'll take everything that's white. Actually, you know what? We'll take everything that's white. We'll have to also exclude these. So let's go ahead and include these white parts right here. And then we'll invert selection. Oops. Lasso. Talos is messaging us. Oh, he disconnected. Okay. That's fine. Bye bye. So when we invert selection, it'll deselect the white and select all the other bits we want to get colorized. And you can do like color patterns this way too, which is fun. Oh, what am I doing here? You can go here. 
We'll move these dots around. There we go. Select, invert, perfect. And we'll say, we don't wanna change colors of these, so we're just gonna get rid of the, do the big box groups so we can just boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Let's see what it looks like if we try to colorize this right now. A little bit too dark of a blue, so I'm gonna lighten up a little bit to where I want it. That's good. Okay, I kind of like how the, all this is turning out right now. Um, but of course, once again, it's like also taking my whites and turning them blue. But these whites are, these, these colors are easy to select out. I'll show you how. So we're just going to do that. We're going to go ahead and make sure we get the ones that we want to stay white to stay white. So we're going to go ahead and just do, do not include this. Do not include this. Uh, all this. Don't include any of this. We're not colorizing these. These whatever these are. These are here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to our spaceship here. Do we want to color the engine in the cells? No, we don't want to color, colorize these engine as cells. So we'll make sure we unselect those. What were those rings we picked? I think they'd be those those little white rings right here. Yeah, so we're fine. Okay. We want to not color the engine as cells. Do 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 do. Let's see here. Don't color the white bits here. Don't color the white bits there. I want to keep all my white bits white. Oh, I'm using the wrong selector. <laughs> there we go. Control key. Control key FTW. All right, we need a little more precise on this one. These bits right here, these three white lines are like just shaded darker. So we're just going to go ahead and do the same on these ones right here. Okay. 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 Uh, we have the white bits there unselected. I'm not sure what that white that thing is. Maybe it's just a lighter color of whatever. Is that somewhere on our model? Do we see it anywhere noticeable? Oh, you know it's that gray bits. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with the. Uh, I don't want those gray bits colored. I'm gonna color. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So those jaggy bits in the top too. Wait, what are you talking about, Talanos? What about these right here? You want me to color these? I want to color them blue. I don't want them to be gray. This has a fresh coat of paint. Although, although, I'll keep these gray. These right here. Oh, on the image. The jagged bits on top. Oh yeah, there's some white spots there. Okay. Yeah, those are like, I think those are, uh, those are right here. Those are right here. So I'll, I will definitely get those little white bits. Yeah, they're right there. So. All right, to make you happy, I'll just go do them right now. Right now, folks. I'll keep you that color. And I will keep you that color. I will go finish doing the circle parts on this one. Free hand a little bit there. Okay. Okay. 
this is also a, a white bit. Oops, I think I used the wrong tool. There we go. The exclude tool. Bring it in. There we go. Let's go get these little rectangles up here now. Using our exclude. To exclude, you just hold the control key, then you click, and then you can release the control key because it knows you're excluding. All right. I got all the white bits on the upper half. Scanning, scanning. We'll have this this side here. I think the rest is okay. Oh no, but I wanted those. I wanted those archways. What does this look like to you? Hmm. Okay, like a little square bit and a longer, bigger square bit. That's not this. Ooh, it's this right here. Yes, it's this right here. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We discovered it. There we go. I think that was that bit. Oh, and, and the, the engine nacelles. We weren't... Oh, we already got this. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Now take care of these little bits. Yeah, that triangle bit from the engine. Actually, I want it painted. I kind of, I kind of don't understand why it's not, because the other bits are that are just like it. So I'm gonna paint those bits. You can go into all of that right there. This crosses over. I'm digging it. I'm digging it, digging it, digging it. All right. Now we can colorize all of this blue. I actually kind of want to add a red stripe like around the rim of it. Like I want this portion here to be red all the way around. I'll have to see where that's coming from though because it's got some yellow on there. It's got a little chunk that comes up and chunk that comes back down. Chunk up, chunk down maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's this right here. Maybe. It's got no white bit on it. Okay. Nope. Ah, it's down here. We'll, we will go back over this ring right here and in the front because it puts up to the white. Although, that's like a part, different part of the model over there. That little section. Oh, I guess it's right there too. Okay, it's just the way it's folded. We'll go back and cover that, but we'll just see how the blue turns out. Colorize. Give me the blues. Give me the blues. All right. Okay. Okay. Select all. We'll make it picture seven now, I do believe. Save as picture, picture seven, yep, okay. Oh, I copied one back there. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty snazzy. Although, oh no, <laughs> what did I do here? Did I like, Forget something here. Oh, those radars are pretty cool. I didn't realize those radars were there. That's pretty cool. Okay. 
Um, I gotta go back and fix that, apparently. So that's why we do the test. Uh, let's go back to GIMP. GIMP. Okay. So right here, I missed it. Okay. So let's control Z. See, we if you look at my image, the black and white image up here in the corner, it shows what is so what is selected still. And I need to go and unselect all of that. We're gonna decolorize it by hitting the control Z key again. And we'll just go here and say, you know what? You're not supposed to be included. I'm sorry. We made a mistake. That's why, you know, the, the undo button is fantastic. It is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, that's taken care of. Yes. All right. Let's colorize it again. Colorize. I kind of like the dark blue. I changed my mind about the color. Let's go dark blue. Hit OK. Select all. Having Microsoft Publisher to like do your images instead of like uh, having to export every time is really handy. Let's see here. Save this picture. Because like the whole export thing is kind of a process. And you have to also like dig the file out every time. Picture eight. Okay, you know what? Ta-da! That's so cool. Okay, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy about this. Although I'm not sure how that lays out properly. Where that is. All right, let's do some figuring here. I guess it's this black line right here. Kind of dips in the front there a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good, huh? You like that? All right, let's try and get this blue section to turn red. All right, we're just gonna free select this. We'll desaturate and then color again. So, zooming in, I'm like leaning way far, and I don't know if you can even see me on the camera anymore. Oh. Okay. Ah, I don't like that line. Okay. We'll just use our, uh, use our straight line selectors. And we want to go to the edge of this. Keep right in the middle of that black line. So that'll be the crease anyways. Right, this thing isn't cut off, so we'll just drag it through here. Like so. All right, that bit is selected. Now the bits in front. Kind of feel like it should go like that. There we go. I did hit the control key, didn't I? I don't know. For like the, or shift, shift is to include. If you do the include select, you gotta use the shift key. Nope, I didn't do it. Undo. Shift to include. 
My bad. It happens. Okay. That's the only bits we need to colorize with red that I want to do. So, it desaturates. And you can do like, see I just select, selected this perimeter here, but you can really do any kind of pattern you want on this section. So if you want to do like the design or whatever, you can you know, go ahead and do that. So desaturate, replace, no, we got replace. Um, no, mode, value. <gasps> That's like the perfect color white. What? We should have colored it blue sooner. Was, look how that look how that turned out. It's like the exact like our like five attempts to get this white, okay, is done in like a single stripe there. Like come on. Okay. Anyways, that's fine. We'll go back to colors here. Colorize. It's a perfect palette for coloring red too, though. So I'm okay with it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Darken. Oh, we can darken it up though. Okay. That's good. I like how it's darkening it up. Let's bring it in. Bring it in, boys. Okay. Okay. Select all. Copy the image. You would if you don't have publisher, you would export it. I'm just like repeating myself here. It's here. Save as picture, picture nine. And the also reason why I'm doing like a different picture, like picture seven through nine, right? Or one through nine right now is because when you use Tabletop Simulator and like you already have a picture loaded and you load a file with the same name, it doesn't actually load the new thing. It just, it says, oh, the file's in the same name. So we're just going to keep the image the same and we're not going to change anything, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Okay. So, uh, custom, and we are on picture nine, open, local import. I, 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 <gasps> what happened there? What happened there? My white bit got colored red, but the front looks great. Yeah. I'm digging the front end here. Okay. So we have a mistake. Let's go back and correct it. Oh, uh, my white bit. <laughs> I just got too quick on that one. All right. Okay. Rectangular select. Do not include this bit. Thank you very much. Okay. Colorize. Red, but we darkened it. <gasps> no, we didn't do that. Desaturate first. Colorize. Desaturate. Value. Okay. Color. Colorize. Red. Okay, okay. All right, I see if only like taking a spray bottle or like an airbrush and just doing your actual model was this easy. <laughs> like I, I'm doing all the masking and painting like in a couple strokes, right? So a couple keystrokes. Uh, we didn't save it though, we didn't select all. So select all, copy, paste. That's the new one, yep, okay, save as picture, picture, picture 10, yes, one zero, okay. All right. Local imports, cancel, okay. A little white box stayed a little white box. That blue bit there, that's fine. I don't mind the blue bits. That's cool. All right, what do you guys think of my shuttle? Huh? You guys like it? 
Now, remember, if you guys are doing your own picture, make sure you're also a Patreon. Uh, here's Twitchy 5x5. Five five. Okay, Twitchy, if you want to recolor yours, use this one. This is the one you want. <laughs> I'll draw a little circle around it. That's the one you want. There you go. Um, but you know what? Let me do custom here and picture 10. And we're going to open that again. We're going to do the cloud this time. So you can see my repaint. <laughs> there we go. Import. Here you are. Is it the right model? I think probably the right model. Okay. We don't need these models back here. Make it easier to load. But you can see my process here. How it went from like this. Let's try to make a clear base. Oops, that was a mistake. And then moving on to the iterations of colorizing the ship. You're going to make a lot of like changes as you go. And that's okay. Don't be like upset with that. So. Nope, I got somewhere right here. We go objects, saved objects. Let's go ahead and load an angel squad too. Where's Angel Squad? Ah, here we go. We're gonna load an Angel Squad so you can see how they look next side by side. All right. All right, all right, look at that. That is pretty swank. Oh yeah, this is one cool looking squadron. I dig, I dig. All right. What do you guys think of that cool squadron? You want to promote? Promote us, promote us. Okay. There we go. <laughs> you guys cannot submit my models as your images. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're a player, I think you just recolor the object. If you want two different team objects here. I think you just use, use the recolor option. Nope, that doesn't work actually. All right. So, but if you were just doing like a recolor real quick, you just hit the recolor button on the whole thing. So I'm actually gonna load the image back in, the original image in, in GIMP here. Uh, let's see here, file, new, um, actually, you know, just, yeah. Or create. Uh, no, we're going to do new. Nope, we're not going to do that either. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to publisher here. I'm going to say insert a picture. Make sure I do this right. Uh, picture one. Nope. Which one do I want? I think it was picture one. Yeah, maybe it was picture one. Um, I don't remember what I did. Yeah, picture one. Okay. Let's see here. Fix size, size, reset. All right. And file create from clipboard. There. Now, if you just want, like, if you want two different teams, you can easily do two different teams just by going like this and say colors, colorize. And you have a we had a red one before. Now we're gonna make like a a lighter blue one. The grayscale here maybe I don't know. Hmm. Like that. There you go. That's okay. We like that. Colors, select, or no, select, select all. Save as picture, picture 11. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do this one. We're gonna have a red team and a blue team. Okay. Okay, 
So there you go. Like this is a that's a quick way to do like if you want if you're both your if you and your opponent are both using the same piece and it needs to be designated like a different color um, just so you can determine who's like who ships whose. That was a quick recolor. Like boom, done, right? And it looks great. Just a quick recolorize and moving on. So you gotta admit they look good. Thanks, Talanos. It's kind of fun when you colorize your whole squadron together. So, yee, 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 yee. There, I think that's it for today. Like I said, next week I'm going. I'm gonna actually print out a custom a, a skin uh, of like I think I'm probably probably a rebel. I like rebels. I'm gonna print out a rebel skin, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, sketch it. Like I'll put like a sheet over it, like you know, like on a window. So I can see the image through. I'll sketch it on a blank white paper. Then I'll just do like a hand draw and like use markers and then scan it and upload it and then place it over the image. And I'll, I'll do after I'll do after I do the scan, I'll show you how to place it over the other image so it lines up. But it's gonna be fun. Oh, someone wants to show off his raid or oh that thing was really hard to color. <laughs> it's like the whole thing, just color it dark. You know what? Here, here. This looks great with your reader. There you go. <laughs> I want you to use MS Paint and put the lines back in here with MS Paint. <laughs> That's funny. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy that. Like I said, um, you really need to be on my Patreon uh, for all because every time you have a product release and guys share the word with all your friends. Like, come on for a dollar because every time there's an X Wing product release, I am doing a contest to prize it out. And all it costs is a dollar to participate in the contest. If you guys want the other swag and stuff, there's other other things or whatever. But make sure you go to patreon.com. And here we go. It's right here. Don't miss it. Patreon.com to do that. And as on May 1st, after you guys submit those images, I'll just, let me show you again what image I want. I want you to submit this image right here to your Instagram. Okay, with the hashtag TMK Gauntlet, and if look for Team Mecula or TMK Clubhouse to friend request you if your profile is private. But if you comment or post a picture on Instagram with this this kind of picture, right, not the 3D model. I don't want to see, I don't want to see a, a screenshot of like this, right? I want to see the other image. So I'm going to screenshot your image. I'm going to load it. I'm going to look around it, um, and judge it basically. But the one that wins. If, if we get a lot of images, if we get more people signed up, and we get a lot of images going here, okay? Um, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Uh, this prize here is what I'm going to be giving away, okay? And mailing it to you. Canada, U.S. only. So do that. All right? Uh, with that said, I hope everyone has a great day, and I will be online tomorrow as well. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't have any game schedule. I'll probably play Elite Dangerous, or if you guys want to, you know... You know what? I'll use Microsoft. I'll do tomorrow. I'll do a Microsoft Paint uh, reskin of a ship. Well, I kind of already did that. That's you know, just you guys can do that. You guys do MS Paint. You don't need you don't need directions on how to use MS Paint to reskin something. You just need to know how to get the file, and the file is really easy to get to. I'll show you how to get the file back real quick. I have to get the right screen here. Okay, so to get to any file of any X-wing ship. Okay, single, actually we'll just do Builder, Resistance, Add Ship, A-Wing, Lulu, Spawn. Okay, any ship, just bring any ship in here like this. You will right click it, go to Custom, see where it says Diffuse Image, Verify Cache, copy that image. Then open up a web browser. Uh, but, but, but. Okay, I'm going to make a new tab here. You're going to put that URL in your browser, mine's cut off at the top so you can't see it, I, put, I would put it straight in there. Go here and remove the verified cache part and bada bing bada boom. Just save that image and then you can edit that image or you can even just copy image if you have GIMP and you can open it up right in GIMP using file, create from clipboard and then you can work on it. So, oh uh, the gauntlet, okay if you have a ship that has a weird image, it's actually not different on the gauntlet. The gauntlet, you just go over here. So if you submit an image to one of these ships right here, one of these four ships, you just right click this right here, 
okay? And then it's actually right here. It's the same. It's the same. Um, and you know what's fun is we already have a submission for the gauntlet. So I'll open up the gauntlet here. Cloud, upload. Do, 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 do. Import. And there's the... So they just reskinned the middle on this one. They kept the outside the same looks like. So, but yeah. There you go. And that's how you do that. And then you could take your model here. Let's see here. Uh, builder, scum, add ship, gauntlet fighter. Doesn't matter. Spawn list. Okay. I'll just grab Maul's gauntlet here. And drop it on. Boop. Or vice versa. It's got to do it sometime here. Come on. Forget how this works. Nope. Well, maybe it's not working. Maybe because I spawned them all. Maybe it has to be like a generic one. Scum. Add ship. Gauntlet Fighter. Let's try that one. Why isn't that working? Uh, let's see here. Anyways, I can look at it either way. So, so I can just flip this over to you and look at the bottom of it. Not that big of a deal. So I can, I can see your work if it's one of these ones. But it should translate over. I don't know why it's not working right now. There it goes. All right. There it recolored it. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So actually, here he, he recolored the wings. He did everything on it. So there you go. There you go. See, I can look at all your handiwork if you do those ones. So I got this. Okay. So if you do one of these ones up here, the standard TIE Fighter, the Fake Fighter, or the uh, Razor Crest, and recolor it, you'll just go here to custom and get that. And I'll know what you did, because I, I know what I'm looking for. Like if you did one of the ships right here, I can tell. So there you go. Don't worry about it. It's all gravy. It's all gravy. Here we go. All right. Does anybody else have any questions on how to participate in the contest? And if you guys want, you know, the more people that participate in these contests, the more I have on my Patreon, I could do better prizes. So I maybe even instead of just, if I have enough people participating in the prizes small, I could do multiple awards to multiple people instead of just, the, you know, one, right? So put that out there. All right. Um, I hope everyone has a great night and an even better tomorrow. Bye.